another person that we we tend to pull for a little bit. His story is fascinating. The Liberty Flames with Coach Hugh Freeze went ten and one last year. The one lost by a single point on a last second blocked field goal at NC State. Otherwise, they would have been undefeated. Malik Willis is back, and that yeah. is the hype boy this year. Everybody is to, he he is the one that everybody's talking about. Well, yeah, this yeah he's yes. gonna he's gonna break records scoring this year. He he looks like a video game yeah character is what it is. I mean, he's just absurd numbers, all that good stuff. Uh, there are only two projected losses on the schedule this year. Their win total is at nine. To go over is minus one thirty five. Uh, to go under plus one hundred five. I uh, the the projected record by the way SP plus nine and three FPI has them at eight and four uh, I don't buy the FPI I don't think that I buy the SP plus either um, defensive improvement two. I mean defense has improved every year under Freeze uh, they've got a, a four two five scheme that they've been running That's and right. it, it's worked for him you know all over the place they got ten starters returning on defense schedule backloaded they could absolutely start eight and one maybe nine and zero oh. yep. Uh, I mean, if I think that there's a chance that they could start nine and zero, why would I ever take the under? No, you 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 can't. I'm I'm not. I'm I'm going to take the over. I know it's juiced at minus one thirty five, but I I think this is going to be a bananas season. Yeah, I think um, there's only two games that they're going to even come close to losing at and, Ole Miss, and then a bye before they host Louisiana, and then yeah. they've got Army at the end of the year. I I think I think at Ole Miss and Louisiana are the are the two trip ups, and and I. I just think if you told me that they're guaranteed going to lose both those games, I, th- I think you're crazy. I think they're going to be in both those games. Yes. I think they're going to come down to the very end. And I think a lot of these other teams, they're going to just kick the crap out of. Oh, yes. Like, I don't think many of these games are going to be close. I've said it earlier last week in, in our Conference USA preview. I'm going to be betting my boy Bill Clark at UAB because I think he's going to be getting a lot of points, but I don't think they can win that game. I don't think so. Either. I don't think that defense can slow this offense no, down. They they play at Troy. Uh, they host Campbell to start, and then at Troy, Old Dominion, at Syracuse, at oh, gonna, UAB. I think they're going to roll through that they're, schedule. Yeah. Uh, I think they're going to the kick the crap out of these guys. Yes, yes, one hundred percent. And then they're going to roll into Ole Miss undefeated. And I, I got Ole Miss winning the game. I will be there. I'll be there, and I'm ready for the scoreboard to blow up. We're going to hit hundred points. You going to be wearing your Liberty gear? No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I will. I will. It will be a. Chilly, chilly night probably, and I will be wearing my yep. Ole Miss blue, powder blue hoodie. I can get down with it. I can get down with it. So you you said over as well, huh? I, yeah, I think I think the I think the floor is ten, and I think the ceiling's two uh, uh, twelve. Woo! I, mean, right. I really do. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.